everybody, Nest Talker here. So as I pass the uh, Royal Canadian Legion, it reminds me that for this video, I'm going to talk about Remembrance Day. Now that's what we call it in uh, in Canada, and I believe it's called that way in in like Australia, New Zealand, and England as well. I believe the Americans call it uh, Veterans Day. If I'm wrong, just put it in the comments to correct it. And this is from the uh, you know 2000, uh, 1918. November 11th was the end of the First World War. Supposedly the war to end all wars. Well, we know how well, well that went. But the one thing it reminds me about whenever we uh, have this day come around is, uh, you know, the members of my family that, that served in the war. Uh, I had two uncles, one American and uh, one Canadian. They've, they've all passed away now. So, uh, you know, they're not around, but they did actually survive the war. And it's uh, interesting in the sense that my uh, American uncle was more than willing to tell stories and talk about things that went on during the war. Uh, he was in the United States Navy, so a little bit different. My, my other uncle was in the uh, Canadian Army, and uh, he ended up getting wounded. Uh, friendly fire. Hashtag Sten Gun Suck. And while he was in an aid station, he got captured by the Germans and spent the rest of the war in a POD, uh, POW camp. And he really wouldn't talk too much about the war unless he was around some of his mates. And then they would, uh, they would be telling stories and if you were lucky enough to be around, you'd hear a little bit what happened from their point of view. Now, of course, we have a whole bunch of new veterans now, you know, who uh, fought the war on terror, basically because of uh, September uh, September 11th in uh, in New York City, along other places as well. And a lot of these people that are had served in that war are actually starting to get up on get up in uh, age as well. So. Right now, the majority of them are probably still in their 30s, maybe their uh, 40s and such, and some of the senior officers would be in their 50s, but if you have a member of the family who, uh, oh, trike bike, if you have a member of the family who, uh, who uh, did serve and you want to know what's going on if, and if they're willing to talk about it this is the time when you should actually uh, sit down and talk to them now if they don't want to talk about it don't push them because some people even people that served in the uh, second World war refuse to talk about it Luckily, a lot of the, the veterans who served in uh, various wars have written uh, their autobiography of their time during the war, which I found interesting. Uh, I found a lot of uh, sailors that kept journals about what was going on, so you got to see their perspective from like a petty officer or a seaman that served on a either a destroyer or a uh, battleship and whatnot. And their version of what happened was totally different from the stuff I was taught in uh, school. And it sort of shows you that they were a bunch of young, young men who were basically not really kept informed of what was going on. And they were all pretty much scared and so bored and uh, surprisingly hungry as much as they they talk about the uh, you know the navy the navy especially about uh, you know always having uh, food there surprisingly there was a lot of ships that were always running low on food because they were carrying almost twice the number of crew members that they've uh, 
normally would be carrying. So it made uh, very interesting reading and I, I kind of wish I could have got my uh, uncle's perspective on some of that. I know that uh, from reading some of the biographies from some of the people that served in, in Europe and whatnot, how horrible the, uh, the clothing was they were equipped with. Like, uh, they landed in Normandy with summer summer battle dress and fought through the winter and they weren't given winter coats. And I can't imagine uh, trying to, you know, imagine fighting in a foot of snow with uh, a, like a summer shirt. But, you know, these people did that sort of thing. And it was the same with the ones who did uh, Korea and you know, guys who worked in the Vietnam and fought in Vietnam and various other places. You know, war is a horrible thing and you really don't want to have to do it, but unfortunately sometimes it's not up to you. So, it's nice that nowadays that people, when they, they meet a veteran, they thank them for their service. Uh, that's the least we can do. It'd be better if we could actually elect politicians who were idiots. And I'm not pointing my finger at any particular country. I'm pretty certain that every country on the planet elects their fair share of idiots. And it'd be nice if we could just get along a little better. So anyways, hope you enjoy this uh, Remembrance Day uh, fun with uh, thoughts of your uh, relatives and whatnot who may no longer be with us. Deathstalker, signing off.